All right, today I'm going to walk you through our mobile banking app. From here, I wanted to show you our mobile deposit option. So I'll go to the menu and I will select remote deposit. Here, I'll select the deposit a check option. And now I, I choose the account I want to deposit into. I'll put it into my basic checking account. And then I have a check here. I will go ahead and put in the dollar amount for that check. And then we'll enter the purpose or memo. Now I'm going to say scan the check. It gives me some instructions. I will select photograph uh, the front of the check. And then I maneuver to the check and it will automatically snap the check, snap a picture of the check. And now I see that check image in the viewer, and now I can take a picture of the back of the check. It automatically snapped the back of the check. It's a good picture, so I'll use it. Now I'm going to, to transmit that, those two images. As it transmits, we confirm that the image is good, um, and then we get various messages back. If, for example, I've gone over my limit, it might be uh, a check that needs to be reviewed. In this particular case, it's saying that the check is under review. Uh, some institutions want to validate more closely each individual check, and so the user might get a message like this. Um, I, can I can go back and view my list of deposited checks and take a look at the images, um, or I can just continue on with another transaction. So I tapped my logo, come back to the beginning. Now let's just take a look very quickly at our card control option. This is a simple card control capability where I can view the list of my cards and I can tap the disable card. It asks me if that's what I really want to do. It is, so I'm going to say turn the card off. So I tap that option, I get a nice green check mark indicating that I completed that transaction or that action. And then I say, okay, return to, back to my card list and notice that the card now has a different view. And then I can go the other direction. If I want to enable my card, I tap on the card, tap the turn card on, and then again, I get the nice feedback that indicates that I successfully changed the state of the card from disabled to enabled. I, I can also adjust the settings on the card. So let's say I want to adjust my temporary limits. So I want, I have a current limit and I want to change that limit to be a different dollar amount. So let's say I wanted to make my limit $3,000. I can choose set my limit. It gives me the op opportunity to uh, decide when I want my limit to expire. So let's just go a couple of days in the future, select that date, use these limits, and again, I get a nice, good confirmation that I successfully set my limits. Now I can drill back in and see that I still have access to my card and it's ready to use.